Hello ladies and gentlemen, this video is about writing equations from tables. So here we're giving, given a table. And this table is about cookies made um, and batches of cookies. So we want to know the relationship between the batches of cookies and the cookies made. So the first thing we want to do is figure out which one we think depends on the other one. The one that we're going to say is dependent, the one that depends on the other one, we're going to call our y value. For this one, I'm going to say that the number of cookies made depends on how many batches of cookies I'm making. So I'm going to label cookies made y, and then batches of cookies I'm going to label x. So now I need to figure out the relationship. I see that my cookies made value is always bigger than my batches of cookies. So that leads me to think that this is probably either an addition problem or a multiplication problem. For the purposes of this video, we're only going to be dealing with problems that are either going to be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So again, since our cookies made value is bigger than our batches of cookies value, we're really looking here at either addition or multiplication. So we could just try addition. Let's see what would happen. I would have to add 13 to my batches of cookies in order to get 14 cookies made. If that's going to be our equation, it needs to work for all of the different parts of the table. Well, looking at the next part of the table, 2 to 28, if I add 13 to 2, it's not going to get me to 28. So that tells me that 13, uh, that adding 13 is not what I'm looking for. So it was an addition. Let's try multiplication. Another way I could get from 1 to 14 would be to multiply by 14. Let's look to see if that's going to work for the next part of the table. 2 times 14 does work for 28. 3 times 14 works for 42. And 4 times 14 also works for 56. That tells me that my equation is going to be, that my relationship, excuse me, between my x values and my y values is that x is being multiplied by 14 to get to y. So now that we know we need to multiply our x values by 14 to get to our y values, our equation's basically already written for us. It's just going to be 14 times x, or 14x, equals y. You always want to make sure it works, which we already um, checked for all parts of our table, that it works. So we know that in order to find cookies made, our y value, we're just multiplying our batches of cookies by 14. Or another way to say this is that there are 14 cookies per batch. So here we have another example. Here what we notice though is that your y values are smaller than your x values. So if that's the case, you're not looking at addition for sure. You might be looking at subtraction, you might be looking at division, or you could talk, say, um, division also could possibly be multiplying by a fraction or a decimal. Multiplying by any number less than one gives you a product that is smaller than the original value. So in this case, we're either talking about division, subtraction, or multiplying by a number less than one. So for these problems, from five to get to one, if I'm using subtraction, I would be subtracting by four. Five minus one would be four. Well, that's clearly not going to work for the rest of my table. So I'm going to try division. What would you have to divide five by to get to one? Well, you'd have to divide by five. Let's see if that works for the rest of the problem. I see that 10 divided by five gets me two, 15 divided by five gets me three, 20 divided by five gets me four, and 25 divided by five gets me five. So it looks like it works for all of the parts of the table. Now it should be fairly easy to make my equation. I know that my x value divided by 5 gets me my y value, or my y value is 1 fifth of my x value. You could have written this as multiplying by the fraction 1 fifth, but I find that to be a little bit more confusing. So I'm going to use x divided by 5 equals y. Now if I wanted, I could use this equation to find my y value for multiple different x values. I could say What's my y value if x is 100? So I'm going to let x equal 100, substitute 100 into the my equation. I get 100 divided by 5 equals y, so 20 equals 
y. So I know if x is 100, y is 20. Now go ahead and work on your Google form. We're going to be reviewing this in class on Monday. Make sure you're bringing your notes to class on Monday.